Okay, so our last handout video was more or less about the income state and how the income statement determines net income or loss and how that net income or loss uh, flows through to the statement of retained earnings, retained earnings statement, however you want to put it, and ultimately to the balance sheet. So uh, this handout primarily deals with the balance sheet. So if we start right up here at the very top, says here the balance sheet represents the accounting equation true or false this is a true statement there are three things on the balance sheet assets i'm going to abbreviate liabilities and stockholders equity. These are the three items on the balance sheet and they are in this order. Okay, so this is absolutely a true statement. Next question says, which of the following financial statements reports information as of a specific date? Well, if you were paying attention in the last uh, handout video, you know the answer to this. So, we had it because we had a true false question about the income statement everything about it was correct except for it included this specific date business here income statement um, reports um, information for a period of time the retained earnings statement um, reports a combination really uh, of information but really it's for it is for it's not for a period of time or as of a specific date um, it is a it's designed to show uh, total retained earnings for all time so in that regard it is somewhat similar to this but a key ingredient to the statement of retained earnings or the retained earnings statement is current period net income which is a a periodic item so it has elements of both so we're gonna we're gonna skip over the retained earnings statement as well the statement of cash flows is also a periodic statement it shows us all of our cash flow movements uh, for a period of time so that leaves the balance sheet and the balance sheet shows uh, essentially all of these things assets liabilities and stockholders equity as of a specific date uh, or at a point in time so balance sheet is our correct answer no surprise since we are talking about the balance sheet in this video primarily next question says the assets section of the balance sheet normally presents assets in and I'm not sure that how much we've discussed this. Um, so you may be learning this for the first time. And if so, that's okay. Alphabetical order. This is wrong. It's not alphabetical order. The order of largest to smallest dollar amounts. This is also wrong. What they're trying to do here with B is they're trying to trick you. That's the way that expenses are ordered on the income statement. Completely different financial statement. Choice C, the order in which they will be converted into cash or used in operations. What we're talking about here is this idea of liquidity how liquid are the assets and this is the correct answer and that's why cash cash and cash equivalents are always listed first in the current assets section is because cash is completely liquid it's already been liquefied so to speak okay so that is the correct answer all right now you may recognize this little scenario we have here
It says uh, the accountant for Scott Industries prepared a list of the account balances from the company's records for the year ended December 31. Uh, we're going to prepare a balance sheet for Scott Industries. Well, guess what? If you watched the preceding video about the income statement, um, you've already seen all of these numbers before. So what we did when we were when we were putting together the income statement was we went through here and we were looking for all of these accounts that were income statement accounts and we were ignoring the accounts that were not income statement accounts. Well, we already said that all accounts are either income statement accounts or balance sheet accounts with the exception of uh, dividends, which are only implicitly on the balance sheet. So all of those accounts that we didn't use last time, we're going to use this time, and then we're going to test our numbers to make sure that we've done it correctly. Okay, so let's start here with fees earned. Well, we used fees earned already. We use that on the income statement. Okay, accounts receivable. This is a balance sheet account and it is also a current asset. Okay, so we're going to have um, accounts receivable, <clears throat> and that was for $16,000. Okay, next item is equipment. This is also a balance sheet account. Um, bear with me while I try to get this into where we can see everything. This is a uh, non-current asset. So we're going to put it down here. And that was for $64,000. Next item is accounts payable. That is also um, a balance sheet account that is a current liability. And let's see what was that. That was accounts payable. Accounts payable, and that was for $12,000. Salaries and wage expense is an income statement item. Income taxes payable. Again, anytime you see the word uh, payable, that is going to be a liability. So I'm going to abbreviate income taxes payable as IT payable or pay. And that's $5,000. Okay. Moving on, cash is $30,000. I'm actually going to put that above accounts receivable. So we have cash of $30,000. Selling expenses, that is an income statement because it's an expense. Common stock. Let's come down here to see how much room I'm going to need. Stockholders equity. Common stock. is $47,000. Okay. Interest revenue is an income statement account. Income tax expense and rent expense are both income statement accounts. So let's do this. Let's bring our calculator over here. And let's add up all of our assets, and we're going to recreate the accounting equation down here at the bottom. And I think you'll find that we are off, that we're missing something. Assets of $30,000 cash plus $16,000 uh, accounts receivable plus, let's see here, $64,000 in equipment equals 110,000. So we have assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity down here. 
and our assets are one hundred and ten thousand dollars okay one hundred and ten thousand that was the um, thirty thousand cash accounts receivable of sixteen thousand and equipment for sixty four thousand our liabilities we have two we have accounts payable for twelve thousand and uh, income tax is payable for 5000 I think we can do that in our head. That's 17000 So let's go down here. Equals 17000 plus, well, stockholders' equity is only 47000 I can tell you right now that 17 plus 47 is not going to give us 110. We're off. So let's take 110,000 uh, assets minus our 64 liabilities uh, and owner's equity, and that we're missing $46,000. Remember what we did over here when we did our income statement? This is a previous handout. We had net income of $46,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume if this is a brand new business, this $46,000 here flows into the statement of retained earnings. Uh, if it's a brand new business, we had no existing retained earnings or beginning retained earnings. We had no dividends. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this $46,000. We're going to let it flow into retained earnings just like so. So, 46000 in uh, net income plus 47000 in common stock is 93 and if we add to that 93 plus 17000 in liabilities we get 110. So look at our accounting equation down at the bottom now. 110,000 assets equals 17,000 dollars in liabilities and 93,000 dollars in stockholders equity. Um, in the interest of time I did not there's a lot of things I didn't do I didn't total these up uh, but again we want to make sure this video doesn't go uh, too long so there you go. Alright very good that's it for this video.